Gregorian chants fill the church at Our Lady of Guadalupe Monastery, located near Silver City, just outside the Gila National Forest. Father Cyprian Rodriguez started this Benedictine monastery in 1991 with a simple trailer. Today, there is a church, a rectory, a library, a living quarters, and a farm. Father Cyprian felt a calling since his youth to this religious lifestyle. Myself, personally, I was just a young man in the world, uh, searching for my way and, and uh, uh, studying in school, uh, going to college, uh, majoring in architecture and different other different subjects. Um, I had a desire to be religious f since my youth, so my focus and my orientation was in that direction from early on. The day of the monk is filled with prayer, learning, and labor. And we begin with several hours of, of uh, official prayer for the church. And then uh, the, the monks leave the church uh, at daybreak and begin the work part of the day. The monks do manual labor and farming. They raise cows, pigs, chickens, sheep, and also peacocks. I watched a monk milk a cow, then minutes later, I saw three monks help a cow in labor deliver a calf. As we sat around watching the mother cow clean off her new calf, I couldn't help but think about the sacrifice that is involved with this lifestyle, especially at such a young age. Most of these monks are in their 20s. Our youth is very idealistic, and that's the nature of the youth, is to be idealistic and to see through the facade of the superficial and, and uh, the, the uh, ephemeral, and wanting something, uh, a high ideal that they can live and die for. This monastery is not recognized by the Vatican or diocese in the area. According to Father Cyprian, it is affiliated with the Society of St. Pius X. Father Cyprian says that with Catholic schools closing and seminaries and convents emptying, more young people are becoming interested in the traditional vocations that existed in the Catholic Church for centuries prior to the modernization of the church in the 1960s and 70s. So a religious vocation, male or female, uh, would, would be restorative in, that's, in, that, in its very nature. And so um, the future of the vocations would be that, the same thing. The traditional form of the vocation would seem to be that which is the most lasting and the most desirable. The experimental and, and the ultra-modern and the departure from the tradition uh, seems to just be dying out. According to Father Cyprian, there are over 100 young men on the waiting list to take up life as a Benedictine monk at the monastery. For KRWG, I'm Anthony Moreno.